Hey guys, this is Chris with Delaware Paddle Sports. Be sure to check us out at DelawarePaddleSports.com for tax-free shopping. We are going to be checking out the Native Watercraft Titan 13.5. This is a really big kayak. It is 13.5. It's 41 and a half inches wide. So you're talking a huge kayak that's going to give you ultimate standability. Uh, you definitely want to have like a pickup truck or a trailer for this kind of kayak because she is beast mode. We're going to go over everything with the Titan 13.5 and we're super excited to have Native Watercraft's Titan here at Tax Free Delaware Paddle Sports. Be sure to check us out right online at DelawarePaddleSports.com or you can give us a call at 302-645-7300. Looking at the Titan straight from the bow, what you're going to notice is, is it's very cut in the bow. I recommend, highly recommend a Werner paddle in a 260 centimeter length. Uh, that's definitely going to get you past these sides. And this kayak being as big as it is, it paddles very, very well. So. You know, as far as, you know, being concerned about paddling and stuff like that, she tracks like a beast. All right, coming right front, we have a nice, comfortable handle. They have, uh, you know, a nice grip on here, so that way it's easily able to be picked up. Very comfortable on your hand. Uh, they have a gear track here right up front, so if you wanted to get that nice camera shot with a GoPro, you're going to be able to get that whole shot of the whole Titan. Super huge, 13.5, 41 and a half inches wide. So, you know, you can get your shot out front or you can move your GoPro right and, you know, check out the whole kayak if you so choose. So that's really, really nice to be able to have something like that on there. Coming back, you're gonna see gear track staging on both sides. And basically this is holding down your bungee system for your front hatch area. Real easy, as big as this kayak is, you can stand up, come right up, lean up. You're gonna unclip this just like so. You can pull this whole hatch up. So this whole hatch, look at all the storage that you have in here. They have a bin inside here, so that way nothing rolls around on the interior of the kayak. So that's a really nice feature to have. So definitely um, great for storage. You're going to have two gear tracks right here. So, you know, some people actually put a fish finder on these gear tracks. Some choose to put their fish finder up closer on gear tracks. This kayak is giving you the options of having rod holders, fish finder, any type of accessory items that you may want. It's gear track ready, so it's already inserted, no drilling holes in your kayak, so that's a really, really nice feature. Now on the bottom of this kayak, talking about fish finders, there is a transducer mount area that you could just put that transducer right on really simply. It's really easy, there's a little plate there. Put your transducer on and you're ready to rock and roll. Coming back, what you're going to see is this propel, the native watercraft propel. Very easy to come right out of your kayak. You put that right inside your vehicle, no problems. 10 to 1 ratio on this. Locks right down. There's a couple of clips here. Put that there. And then you can take and put your drive straight down. And then you're rocking and rolling. Both boards. And reverse 10 to 1 ratio so that's a really really uh, good ratio you're definitely going to be hauling uh, with that propel system and don't forget you can get your prop indexer that you can put on this too that's going to align that blade up so that way it's easily able to be taken taken up just like this you could take grass off the propeller if you need to or if you just need to get it out of the way so that way you can paddle in some shallow water areas really really cool feature all right, inside the kayak here, you're going to notice that there's going to be very, very comfortable deck pads. Standing is a big quality of this kayak. Um, you're going to be able to stand up comfortably. It's going to be very stable for you. And, uh, you know, you can stand up all inside here, which is a really, really nice feature. The Titan is going to have scupper holes throughout, so that way it allows the water to wash out of the kayak but they will uh, have scupper plugs with it. So you'll be able to you know, put plugs all inside the deck of the kayak if you so choose, which is a really cool feature. Now, one thing I did want to go over is because this is such a big kayak, Native Watercraft has really thought this out. If you wanted to, and I'm just going to take the propeller out, 
you could put a transom mount on this. So that way you could put your own trolling motor on here. Just put that right down, put the clip over the bar. And there's another clip on the bottom here of the base. So that way that keeps it nice and tight there. So that way that's not gonna move with that. And basically what you would do is you would just take your trolling motor, uh, your transom mount trolling motor, attach it right here and your trolling motor goes right down inside the drive hole. That is a really cool feature. You can get this right on TaxFreeDelawarePaddleSports.com and pick the transom mount if you want to. Really cool feature. Definitely something to check out is the transom mount. Now getting back over to the uh, propel, really easy. Plug and play. Drop it right down inside. Lock it in. Put the blade straight down. You're ready to rock and roll. They have a cover plate that you can put on these, just like with all of their propel systems. You put that cover plate right over there. You have a nice clean area that you have a nice cup holder here. Throw a couple of jigs here, some hooks here. Hey man, this thing is a really nice feature to have. And then that way you don't get any slosh up from any type of water or anything like that. Bungee system on both sides of that. It comes right off, very clean. All right, going back to the seating. The seating system is very, very comfortable. Um, it adjusts on the back just by pulling the two tabs. It adjusts very easily so that way you can sit back in the seat or you can bring it forward a little bit. It just depends on how you feel and how you want to be comfortable. So they give you that option. And then also the seating is very, very comfortable. This is all hand stitched right at the factory there at Native Watercraft. Up underneath the seat here, you're going to see a huge storage area. I mean, you could take tackle boxes, put those up underneath there, you know, Plano boxes, anchor, you know, whatever. You could throw anything inside the seat on the bottom end here, and it's going to keep it all inside that tray because they have a nice lip on here, so that way you can keep a lot of gear right up underneath your seat. So a really cool feature about this kayak is somebody that's small to somebody that is tall. I'm a smaller dude, so... Basically, all I have to do is, is undo uh, the two Mighty Mount holders here, just like so. And this seat can slide forward. So look how close that is. So somebody that's smaller can definitely be inside this kayak. You know, somebody that may be a little bit taller, you can bring it all the way back. It adjusts very, very easily. Once you find your setting for your propel, all you're gonna do is it just kind of lock that down. Tighten it down, your seat's not going to move. That's a really cool feature. So you see I have that all set up. Now over here, they're gonna give you a cup holder. Uh, this is a combination cup holder. Also, you have the capabilities of putting the rod butt inside here. So if you want to tie up some rigs and stuff like that, hey man, you can just take your rod, just set it right down inside there, tie up your rigs, and you're ready to rock and roll. Uh, coming back, you're gonna see your steering handle. Uh, this is going to allow you to control that rudder as you're going along with your propel. So it's very, very easy, very, very clean. Gear tracks throughout for rod holders. You can see that it's all over the place. Rod staging. Many, many guys like to take three or four rods out there with them. You know, you can lay your rods right along the sides here and then also bungee those in. Your rod tips are going to come right up through here and you're gonna get rod tip protection all throughout here. So you know, you can have two rods here with rod tips inside here, two on the other side. So it's gonna give you a lot of protection if you're gonna be bringing that bow up on shore. You don't have to worry about snagging any rods or anything like that, which is a really, really cool feature. This kayak is really thought out, so it's a really, really nice kayak. All right, coming back, you're also gonna be able to have uh, your nice burner paddle. You know, you can uh, separate your paddle and then you've got two paddle holders on either side. So that way you don't have to have that long paddle setting right out inside your kayak. You can click one in, one side here and then you also have the capabilities of putting your Warner paddle right on the other side. So, you know, management and then it also has protection for the blades back here, which is pretty cool. It's really, really thought out. Uh, you know, you have bungee systems in the back here that's on gear tracks, so you could also have a nice big cooler back here. You know, if you wanted a big cooler, by all means, you could have a huge cooler back here. 
you know, if you wanted tackle management, some type of a storage system, you could put that in here. So that would be really, really cool. Now looking right here in the center, we also have an eight inch hatch that you can store gear in. It also is gasketed around that hatch. So that's a really, really nice feature to be able to store things inside your kayak. You know, it has a little lockable tab. Just drop that right down, turn that, and it's locked down. Really, really cool feature. You know, you'll see you have your scupper plugs in the back here. So they're really, really thinking about this. You know, you get any water inside the kayak or whatever, or if you don't want water inside the kayak, let's say if it's cold out, you don't want that water to freeze out on the deck, you can use your scupper plugs, you know. Or if you want to open them up, you know, during the summer months, you get rain and stuff like that, you can allow that water to really wash out. Now coming back, um, they have two plates here. These plates you can put a power pole system on. So you can have two power poles actually on the back end of this Titan. That is a really cool feature because by utilizing two power poles, you're definitely not gonna be spinning around if you're just using one. You set both of those power poles down and that kayak is not moving. So we got a comfortable handle in the back here so that way it's gonna be easily be, be able to be picked up, you know, and you can transport this right on your trailer or put it inside your pickup truck. Now, we went over the uh, the Titan, the 13.5. <clears throat> super, super nice kayak. We can ship this kayak for $99. It's $3,249, and yes, you can get that right at tax-free, DelawarePaddlesports.com. So if you want to get more information about it, please, by all means, check us out at tax-free, DelawarePaddlesports.com, or give us a call at 302-645-7300. We have all the native watercraft accessory items that you may need, you know, from seat back pouches to, you know, tackle management to whatever you need. So definitely check us out right on our online website. <coughs> I want to show you another thing too. Really appreciate you guys checking out the YouTube videos. Um, check out our online site for Chris Irby Artworks. I do do custom artworks both for saltwater and freshwater stuff. So. You can get a reproduction print for 40 bucks, and it's $5 to ship, no problem. But hey, I can stick it right inside that kayak when we go to ship that out, and I'll sign that right for you. I really appreciate you guys tuning in to our YouTube page. And by all means, please check us out at DelawarePaddleSports.com for tax-free shopping. 302-645-7300. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.